Hello students, welcome to Priyosh Digital Classroom. This is your English educator Priyoshi. Today I'm back again with a new topic and my today's topic is my mother at 66 uh, prescribed to your NCERT textbook Flamingo CBSC class 12. Okay, this poem has been written by Kamala Das who was born in 1934 and died in 2009 was born in uh, Malabar, Kerala. He is a well-known literary figure in Indian English literature. Uh, apart from writing poetry, she has authored uh, several novels and short stories in both Malayalam and English. Okay, and uh, she was converted to Islam. Okay, now let's get started and let's see what the poem tells us. Okay. So actually the key theme of this poem is fear of separation, the poet's fear of separation from her mother as her mother is not in good health condition and she apprehends that her mother may die. Now let's see. Driving from my parents home to Cochin last Friday morning, I saw my mother beside me, doors open mouthed, her face ashen like that of a corpse and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked okay so driving from my parents house uh, parents home that means the poet was uh, returning from her mother's house she was heading to Cochin airport okay after staying her mother's staying at her mother's house and now she is heading to Cochin airport okay one Friday morning okay and she was inside the car the car was moving forward okay doze means sleeping open mouth with her mouth wide open okay her face ashen like that of a corpse ashen means means pale dull or you can say a reed okay dry face like that of a corpse what does corpse mean Corp mean corpse means dead body she was looking like a dead body absolutely motionless okay and uh, her face as shame like that of a corpse now here this word these two words are very important open mouth open mouth indicates or suggests that she was not in the pink of her health or you can say not in a good health condition that's why she was struggling to uh, inhale and exhale and that's why her mouth was wide open when she was sleeping now so and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked but soon put that thought away okay so she was looking like a dead body and this was for the first time the poet experienced it okay she realized it actually uh, she did not ever pay attention to this fact and she, this is for the first time, realized that my mother is aging and my mother is now too old. She is currently 66. Okay. So, uh, her fear intensifies that soon, soon I'm going to lose my mother or maybe my mother's life on this earth are numbered. Days are numbered. Okay. And here, simile is used. It is a case of simile. That is a figure of speech kind of comparison she was as old as she looked but soon put that thought away she was looking very old dull pale okay absolutely motionless looking like lifeless and uh, this obviously with a heavy heart she was feeling pain inside that she was not at all happy seeing her mother's physical condition seeing her mother's body language and expression facial expression especially and that's why she was feeling the pain inside okay and just to discard this thought or you can say just to eliminate this thought just to distract this thought she uh, tried to focus on uh, on another thing that was uh, she was trying to look out at young trees sprinting the car was running forward Okay, and she was inside the car, car and her mother too was inside the car and in order to distract her mind from this uh, grave issue, serious issue to her as her mind was out and out very disturbed with the thought of her mother being so old. Okay, 
what did she do she actually looked outside okay and there were young trees sprinting sprinting means just going to the opposite direction okay the married children spilling out of their homes but after the airport security check uh, these words again are very important trees sprinting and married children okay these words are very important and these words are symbol trees young trees sprinting young trees are symbols of growth energy life and vitality and it is a clear contrast to the uh, poet's mother's physical health or condition and on the on the one side she was so old she was fragile she was weak but on the other side trees were sprinting they were young that means uh, they were full of uh, growth and vitality and at the same time the merry children spilling out of their homes okay uh, actually notice these lines her face ashen like that of a corpse and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked but soon put that thought away i forgot to tell you that these two lines actually are the key lines of this poem uh, the whole theme lies in this two lines actually that means i'm just going to uh, maybe any time i'm just going to lose my mother forever okay Th there is a fear of separation which uh, grows inside her okay and that's why she is just so disturbed she is uh, her heart is so heavy with grief okay she's just writhing in pain inside okay okay now the merry children spilling out of their homes the merry children naturally the children are very uh, agile very energetic spilling means uh, rushes away or running out of their home okay in order to just you know play with their fellow mates okay so that's why and it is also a clear indication of her own loss of childhood okay that once it is gone it is gone forever i will never get back to my own childhood okay and this loss of childhood intensifies here okay so they were playing and ultimately she reached the airport and uh, certain uh, norms and formalities uh, were to be followed and after just fulfilling after the checkout what happened again she noticed she looked at her mother she observed or she noticed her mother standing a few yards away i looked again at her when pale as a late winter's moon and felt that old familiar ache okay standing a few yards away she was just uh, she was very close to her mother she was just standing few yards okay away from her mother and she was again noticing her mother's facial expression her her mother's pale dry face okay and that's why she was again feeling the same pain inside that i might lose my mother anytime okay so her mother's physical condition is compared to a late winter's moon now we have to know what a late winter's moon okay is what does this line indicate you know late winters means uh, what happens generally in winter's moon winter's moon gets overshadowed uh, by fog and mist similarly here sim uh, the poet apprehends that her mother might be overshadowed by death any time okay and felt that old familiar ache my childhood's fear old what is old familiar ache there there is a comma and the poet herself tells us that old familiar ache is none other than her childhood's fear what was her childhood's fear uh, in her childhood she uh, felt exacting what is happening right now she was very fearful of losing her mother forever and that same fear revolves around once again she uh, started to feel that same fear here again that i might lose my mother i will not be able to see my mother ever after okay so that's why she is feeling so 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 unhappy for her mother okay 
but all i said was see you soon amma so this is a beautiful line yet this line is uh, loaded with full of emotion actually her mother is not feeling well actually but still she was having certain duties to feel, fulfill because she was a woman she was having her own family and she was having her own duties certain works to do that's why she had to leave her mother but she could not help going actually but all i said was see you soon amma but this time she wanted to depart from her mother on a positive note she, she uses the same word again and again all i did was smile and smile and smile okay you know uh, when we grow old uh, people feel very lonely so old people feel very lonely they should get our company and they like to be around their own family members okay and uh, the poet could not help going that's why she is uh, feeling the pain inside but still she wanted to leave her mother she wanted to bid bid her she wanted to bid her mother adieu with a positive note with a happy face that's why she was smiling though it was not a real smile it was not meant really for smile okay for the sake of smile she was feigning actually this was a fake smile okay this was not coming from inside directly straight from the bottom of her heart she was it was not coming actually it was a fake smile she wanted to depart she wanted to bid her mother with a happy face not with a long face okay long face means with an unhappy expression that's why in order to uh, just get relaxed in order to show it in front of her mother she wanted to hide her emotions uh, she wanted to hide her tears being shed in front of her mother okay that's why she wanted to leave her mother with smile so that her mother might feel a bit relaxed I'd like to add again that this poem is written in free verse where there is no rhyme scheme no meter and the whole poem is written in a single sentence okay there are no other sentences no stanzas only written in a single sentence uh, punctuated by commas okay this is another way of uh, style of uh, writing poetry okay and the key themes of this poem are fear of separation of course that is the main theme and also loss of childhood once you uh, this time the poet lost her own childhood and she thought that she would never get it back again and after seeing those merry children and the line is quote unquote the merry children spilling out of their homes and also death and decay that is also very very important theme of this poem here her mother is aging her mother is uh, fragile her mother is ill nobody can escape decay uh, we are bound to be withered by aging this is absolutely this, this is obvious okay we cannot escape death uh, decay aging so this is a very emotional poem yet a very personal poem so here the figure of speech you have to use simile uh, the first one is she was as old as she looked second one is as a winter's moon and also repetition is used and the last line all i did was smile and smile and smile okay so that's all for today's video for this topic soon i will be back with a new topic and if you like my video please uh, subscribe to my channel and like it share it with your friends thank you very much for watching happy learning keep learning